They're a little bit glam. And a lot rock and roll. We're just a rock band, you know, we're, we're, we're a hard rock band. You know. If you haven't heard of the darkness by now, you will. With their debut album, Permission to Land, invading the U.S. Billboard charts, it just went gold and is on its way to platinum, The Darkness is trying to redefine British rock. We've kind of crossed over into that pop market and <clears throat> because we don't live like celebrities and, you know, and go to sort of clubs and go to all the, you know, the fancy places, you know, because we're busy on tour, you know. Yeah. So they're trying to make something out of nothing in a way, trying to it sort of elevate us to this kind of celebrity status when we're just a, we're just a rock band. You know? They're relatively new to the British rock star scene, but the darkness is by no means inexperienced. It's kind of been quite a long road for us, to be honest. I mean, We've been in the public eye probably for about six months, so it seems like we're a brand new band, but um, we were playing for about four years before we even got a record deal. So. Dan Hawkins and Ed Graham are best friends from school in the Suffolk town of Lowestoft. With Dan on guitar and Ed on drums, they join Dan's brother Justin on lead vocals. Scotsman Frankie Pillane rounds out the quartet. They've all taken center stage recently at the Brit Awards, winning Best Band and Best Album, an achievement they don't take lightly. I think best album is the one we're most pleased about. You know? So it's, um, it's our kind of our art statement, I suppose. It's our baby, and everything that we do is to, is kind of to feed feed it. So. As the new vanguard of British rock, it's easy to compare the darkness to other groups who once defined the sounds of the United Kingdom, like U2 or Queen. Sometimes they get it very wrong, you know, but um, I wouldn't say we loathe it. You know, sometimes it's not totally off the mark, and sometimes it is. In fact, it was clear to the rest of the band that lead singer Justin Hawkins should be the front man after a breathtaking karaoke rendition of Queen's Bohemian Rhapsody in 2000. But Justin's brother Dan can't wait for the moment when the darkness is defined by a sound that is uniquely their own. People are always going to want to compare you to people because in a way um, they've got to kind of tell other people you know, in, in a magazine or in a paper what, what you sound like and until you've established your sound um, you know they're, you're going to always be compared to people so it doesn't bother me too much. I think I'm looking forward to that point you know when we're two or three albums down the line and we are who we are and everyone knows exactly what we do and then and that won't happen anymore. With appearances on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno, The Late Show with Dave Letterman, and Saturday Night Live, fans in the U.S. are bound to give the darkness more than just permission to land. I think, you know, the, the whole idea of, of going to see a band in people's minds now is a bit, it's probably a bit tainted because it's all been about doom and gloom or, or just horrible, you know, process pop music that you wouldn't go and see a live gig of if you're a music fan anyway. And um, you know, you've got your old school bands like maybe like Kiss and Aerosmith who are still out there, and AC/DC who are, and the, and the Stones who are putting on a big show. Um, but ultimately, it's like kind of if you're into music, you would have seen them already. And we're we're taking that whole kind of genre and moving it forward. And you know, we want people to, to come to our shows, have a great time, and be excited about live music again. Good luck getting tickets to any of their performances in the states. Most venues sold out the day tickets went on sale. The destination is Frankfurt. And I'm Kane Fairbaugh.